everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Expo. Today is Thursday, February 17th, 2022. Time is 3.44 p.m. And yes, of course, it is Jersey time because that's where I'm at. And might I say very pleasant Jersey time, 65 degrees today. Can you imagine that in February? I'll take it. Okay, so we got another... Uh, Update on a story I just just did has to do with that Sioux Falls uh, police officer who likes child porn. Well, guess what? There's another one at this department that likes child porn. This just came out today. So, I don't know. These stories are, what, two days, three days apart from one another? This is reported on DakotaNewsNow.com. And this came out uh, today. It actually was updated five hours ago from the time I'm reading this. And it reads as follows. Another Sioux Falls police officer arrested on child porn charges. What a surprise, people, huh? Well, how long have I been saying it now that child porn is their number one go-to thing? They gave up, maybe they're giving up raping women, and now they're going to just uh, download child porn instead. And here's the hero. Take a good look at it. Look at him. Boy, he's out there protecting, serving the community. Making everybody, all the little whites, feel so safe knowing he's out there. Safe as long as you're not a kid, right? I'd love to hear what the bootleggers have to say about this. You know what they're going to say, folks. Oh, well, you know, there's bad apples in all uh, professions. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I don't see uh, teachers and the mailman and the milkman and the... Uh, uh, the librarian and uh, the plumber and electrician, I'll see them on the front page of the news every day on the internet doing stuff like this. But every day, I've got a story I'm saving to do for about a cop doing something stupid. All right, let's read the story and find out exactly what's going on with this hero. You know, the well-trained professional hero, always out there risking our lives as he protects and serves the government while downloading child porn. All right, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. For the second time this month, a Sioux Falls police officer has been arrested on child pornography charges. What a surprise. Nobody out there is surprised, right? Matthew Allen Jock was booked Wednesday on five counts of possession, distribution, or manufacturing of child pornography court records show. The, change, the charges are out of Lincoln County. Jock is no longer employed by the Sioux Falls Police Department, Chief John Thumb said in a briefing Thursday. While these are the actions committed by an individual, they are violation. They are a violation of trust and have done damage to this community and this department. And that can't be taken lightly, Thumb said. When much trust is given, I don't give the police any trust. Do you give the police any trust? I'm sure you're shaking your head no, right? When much trust is given, much is expected, and these clearly aren't actions that reflect that trust. According to court documents, the investigation began on January 14th when the South Dakota Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force received a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children regarding a kick messenger user whose account contained child pornography videos. Detectives later used data records from Kick to confirm that this user sent at least five media files depicting child pornography to other users. Investigators, event, well, you know, he sent it to other users, so now those other users are in trouble. It's like a virus that just spreads and they keep getting caught. Investigators eventually tracked down the IP address to Jock's home in southeast Sioux Falls, south of the Lincoln County line. Officers conducted a search warrant at the residence on Wednesday. Detectives also interviewed Jock Wednesday, according to court documents. And this is this is where the intelligence level comes out, because you would think a cop would know better to not answer questions. Say, look, I'm not answering any questions unless I have my lawyer here. And he had to know something was coming down his way because the other cop got in trouble prior to this. He should have just packed his bags up and got the hell out of town. Jock admitted that the kick account question was his and that he used it to access media depicting child. So he just admitted to having child porn. So just put the noose around his neck, right? Investigators say he was able to describe one of the videos where a girl between the ages of 8 and 10 performed a sexual act on an adult man. Yeah. 
Jock also said it was possible he sent more than one graphic file to another, to other kick users. Each of the five counts against Jock are class four felonies, punishable by up to ten years in prison. He will be arraigned on Thursday. Now they don't say in the article if he's related to the other one, his activity, but you know it has to be related. You know they have to be talking to one another. A black guy for the police department. Jock was hired by the Sioux Falls Police Department in February of 2020, so he hasn't been on the job very long, according to the city records. I wonder how many awards this hero got. You know they love to give each other awards. The arrest comes less than two weeks after another Sioux Falls Police Department officer, 28-year-old Luke Schaller, was arrested for her child pornography. Schaller was taken off active duty when the city learned of the arrest and is no longer a member of the police department. I just did the story. I literally did it yesterday. I uploaded it yesterday, folks. And then I'm doing a, I'm doing a search today of police officers charged, arrested, and what comes up, this story does. Shaw also used kick to access child pornography. According to court documents, however, it's still unclear whether these cases are connected. Well, you know they're connected. Jock is facing state charges while Schaller is facing charges in federal court. In the media briefing Thursday morning, both Chief Thumb and Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken said they are troubled by the arrest of Jock and Schaller. Well, troubled, but we're not surprised. The actions of Mr. Jock and Mr. Schaller before have given our organization a black eye. I'm sure that you've had a black eye before. This isn't the first one. And we can't hide from that. We can't take that lightly at all. Thumb said, well, at least I give the chief uh, a little credit for getting up there and acknowledging it and not locking himself in the office and hiding under his desk. He's come right out and say, look, you know, this ain't us and we ain't tolerate it. Uh, Ten Hagen said he's deeply troubled, even angry. What is he supposed to get up and say, hey, that's too bad about him? No, of course not. Angry about the incident and while the city is carefully reviewing its policies... <laughs> Viewing his policies. You got child porn. There's no policy. There's only one policy. You're at the fucking door, all right? How many of you people out there, if you got arrested for child porn, you could report to work the next day? First of all, you wouldn't want to go to work because you'd be embarrassed and you probably would not be in your best health interest to go to work. He said he continues to stand shoulder to shoulder with the men and women of the Sioux Falls Police Department. Yeah, until you catch the next one that it's doing it. We will not let the actions of a few tarnish. Oh, get ready. Here we go. Here we go. Blue line bullshit. Copaganda. We will not let the actions of a few tarnish the work of the many in this department, Ten Hagen said. Our hope is that the community as a whole will feel this way as well. No. You know, well, the bootleggers will always feel good about it because they'll rationalize everything. Well, you know, it's just the two of them. Doesn't mean the whole department's doing it. And that's absolutely right. Just because you got two officers caught... Uh, downloading child porn, possession child porn, doesn't mean all the cops are out there do. Many are out there raping children, uh, molesting them, raping women, assaulting women, uh, lying on reports. You know, the list is a mile long. I don't have to go down it. You all know it. We will continue to evaluate our personal procedures and policies and how we handle issues of this nature. There's only one way to handle it. You fire his ass. I love this shit. This is... This is the nonsense that goes on. The blue line of bullshit. Well, we're going to examine our policies. What policy? How to fire a cop? Just treat everything like a private corporation would do. A private business. There's no business out there would allow somebody, one of their workers, to stay on board if they got caught with child porn. You get fired. And the boss probably tells you, look, if you beat the charges and cleared of everything, maybe you come back and we'll talk about it. But for now, get the fuck out of here, right? That's what any business, normal business would do. But, you know, here... In, here in the law enforcement community, everything is designed to protect these cops. Uh, we have safeguards in place to protect against this, but obviously we always need to be working for better solutions. The Sioux Falls Fraternal Order of Police Council issued a statement saying Jock and Shaw's alleged defense are an unforgivable betrayal to the oath we took. Yeah, what oath is that? Not to rat out your fellow officer? Oh, I know what the oath is. Never work hungry, never work wet. And never rat out your fellow officer. These actions do not... Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. More copaganda. They always got to put that disclaimer in. 
These actions do not reflect the culture of our many dedicated sergeants and officers in our membership. Yeah, yeah, it does, because it's a story every day about it. I have a whole slew of videos of cops child porn, cops molesting children. The Labor Council and its members are grateful for the professional and ex expedient work done by investigators in this matters. We take pride in knowing that law enforcement continue to perform as it should by holding such offenders accountable wherever they may be. I will say this. There is one thing that the blue line of bullshit will not protect, and that has to do with the child porn and, and uh, sexual assault on children. They will not cover for that. Everything else, they'll figure a way to try to rewrite the narrative. Uh, all right, so that's the story, and here's another picture of this hero, this fine, upstanding hero, you know. Just a few bad apples, folks. I would love to hear what the bootlickers say. You know, I, I confront bootlickers about this one, you know, every once in a while, and they say, oh, God bless all the men in uniform, the, the, our brave heroes that are out there protecting us, all of them, God bless them. And I go, well, what about this one? And what about this one? And what about the... Well, you know, there's only a few that are bad apples and everything. They, you know, they never can just come back and say, you know what, that's disgusting. I don't like that. And I hope that cop goes to jail because the good cops out there don't need these kind of idiots running around out there with them. But they can't do that. They always have to put that little disclaimer, you know, the few bad apples. It's not a few bad apples, people. It's a whole gosh darn orchard. And I'll finish it up with this. You know, law enforcement, they're so busy trying to fix you and I and trying to change our perception of them. They just will not come out and say, hey, you know what? We got a problem. We got a problem with some of our officers who have sexual dysfunction problems. And, they, and they're and they aroused by looking at young children. They get their nut off molesting children. They like to rape women and hurt women. And... Uh, we got to work on stopping that because it's tarnishing our reputation, but they just can't do it, people. They they just, you know, they're, they're just so busy trying to give us directives and trying to tell us what to do. But the minute somebody like me comes out and talks about it and, and points it all out, I'm a cop hater. Uh, you know, I better hope I never need to call one. You know, all the same bullshit I hear all the time. This is what you this is what you deal with, you know, when you're out there like me and others trying to fix this broken system, trying to weed out these bad cops, which seems to be a whole lot of them, folks. I will put the link in the description. You can go read the story yourself. So two cops from the Sioux Falls Police Department have been arrested for possession of child porn, viewing child porn, sending child porn. What's the difference? It's child porn. They're getting they're sitting there at night looking at child porn, whacking their weenies, and getting their nut off to uh, child porn. And again, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. But all the free porn out there, legal porn, sites you can go look at, you got Chatterbait, you got you, uh, Red Tube, Porn Tube, X Hamster, all these places you can go and get free porn where you won't get in trouble and you can get your nut off to it all you want. But it, check it them out and make sure it sounds yeah, right, you know? boy. Yeah, I guess the only thing I figured they just figured that you know they're on the inside, so maybe they can uh, they know how to circumvent or something. But you know, story by story, it's proof that they can't. They just uh, you know. Idiots, the stupid people. This is what's running around out here, supposedly protecting and serving our community. John Van Dyke, till next time, people, let me know what you think in the comments section. See you later.